Hi guys, it's Lexi. This is going to be a really short, informal, not even a vlog, but I uploaded my summer bucket list in June of the summer and a lot of you guys actually wanted me to do a video, sorry my brush off is showing, just talking about which of the items on my summer bucket list I completed and which ones that I didn't. If you want to hear me like talking about each of the things on this list and explaining why I wanted to do them and stuff, I'll have the actual video linked down below. But now I'm just going to be going through and telling you guys whether I did these things or not. First of all, getting my learner's permit. I actually did. I literally got it three days after I uploaded that video. And yeah, I got like 25 out of 30 when I took the learner's permit test, which was decent. And I've been practicing driving this summer. I can't get my license until December though, but I'm glad I at least knocked that out. I did make vegan s'mores. I got vegan marshmallows from uh, Trader Joe's, got dark chocolate, and then I got gluten-free and honey-free graham crackers from Central Market. I think it's the S'morebles brand, and they were really good. I was excited that I was able to accomplish that. I actually did it on my birthday when I was like live on you now if any of you guys were there sorry this shirt was like probably not a good idea the next thing was to learn how to cook at least two meals and I think I did that kind of now I know how to make this like quinoa bake thing and I can also make like easy wraps for dinner neither are super fancy or complicated but they're meals nonetheless next is meditating and I actually think I did this decently I didn't do it every day but I've been trying to do it like every other day and I really like it it's been helping me sleep better and overall just feel more relaxed and mindful. I would recommend giving it a shot, but it is kind of hard. It takes a long time to master it. I'm still just trying to learn how to do it properly. It's something that takes a while. Next was go to a concert. I didn't go to an official concert, but when I was at BeautyCon, Jack and Jack were performing. I only watched like two minutes of it, but if that counts, then maybe. And I'm still in the process of redoing my room. So many of you guys wanted a room tour. I am so sorry. I suck, but the room tour will hopefully be coming soon in the next few months. I'm trying my best. It's just, I literally have no sense of like interior design. I have no clue what to do to make it look okay. I did read a book. I left my summer reading until two days before school started and did it all in those two days, which is like great planning. Good job to me, but I did it. Nonetheless, and I also have been reading Koi Fresco's book that he wrote. I still don't know how to highlight and contour. I can't do makeup, but I did a little bit of volunteering, not as much as I would have liked, but I did deliver some meals with my mom for Meals on Wheels. I didn't really go hiking. I went to the top of the like Los Angeles like Hollywood sign thing, but I literally just drove up there with my mom. We were too lazy to do the actual hike. I didn't finish a Netflix series. I ended up not finding one that I was really obsessed with. I drank from a coconut when I was in LA at this Vietnamese restaurant, which was awesome. I I didn't get a henna tattoo, but it's okay. I got an avocado tattoo like in the mail the other day, which is like a million times better. I did in tie-dye shirts, but maybe next summer. I did go thrifting, but I didn't find anything, so I'm not very good at it. I didn't go on a road trip, but I did get more than 10 hours of sleep, which was amazing. I'm so not ready to go back to like four hours of sleep and being like dead all the time because of school, but... I guess I have to. By the time you're watching this, I'm probably already back in school, which is disgusting to say. And then finally, for watch a sunrise or sunset, the sunrise, literally a joke. I don't get up, like, before noon, but I did see a sunset when Pokemon Go was, like, really, really popular. I went out to, like, my local pond and saw a really pretty, beautiful sunset. I'm not always this oily. It is, like, a million degrees in my room, and I just finished filming a bunch of videos, but hopefully you guys like this short little video just going over my summer bucket list. I'm hoping I'll have some actual vlogs coming soon soon with school now it might be a bit harder but i'm trying my best and trying to get up a ton of like good quality videos for you guys so thank you so much for making my summer amazing with all your support hanging out on you now all that sort of stuff and i hope to see you guys in another actual vlog bye